G'day, it's Dwayne from Wallace Sound, and today I'm sitting here with these two absolute legends, icons, Noodles and Dexter. How are you guys? From Good Offspring. Good, man. Yeah, good, good here. Um, I'd like to thank you for the invite. It's not often I'm invited into a room with two other guys, so um, <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm flattered. Um, I'm going to tell you off the bat, um, I'm a tattoo artist by trade. That's what I do for a job, and I have to thank you guys for all the work you've given me. I've done that many 31 tattoos. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I'm, I'm kicking myself. I should have bought my gear. I would have loved for you guys to do a 31 tattoo on my arm, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you'd be up for it. I'm ready to get more ink myself. But yeah, I wanted, I've, I've been lagging lately. Oh, really? Get more ink, yeah. Who does your, who does your tattoos generally? Uh, usually Tokyo Hero. Yeah. Um, uh, he's a good friend of mine. Um, I had Grace Neutral do this one last time. That's the last tattoo I got. That's Poke and Stick. She's, oh, in, wow. she's based out of London and, and LA. She kind of goes back and forth. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. And you, you're, you've got any tattoo mistakes now? I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to make sure he picks just the right one. You know, I don't want to be AC about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, take, um, your time, take your time. <laughs> Um, but I, I know that you've got a fan event tonight, there's um, supposed, supposed to be a tattoo, tattoo set tonight, so maybe, maybe not. But um, I think there is supposed to be one, that's what you need to see. Yeah, yeah. I've seen her work, she's, she's exceptional, so it okay. should be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the reason you guys are here is, um, well first of all, you've just released a new album, Supercharger. And Supercharged, sorry. Supercharged. Yeah, yeah, sorry mate, yeah, get my uh, machine head mixed up. But, um, Supercharged, I've been listening to it um, for the last month and I really, I bloody like it. I, I reckon cool. that section. I've got a few favourites already. Thank you. I've written them down um, and some of it, like, you can uh, you can get there from here. You can't get there from here. You can't yeah. get there from me. I love that. Um, that reminds me of um, my high school days, like, which was a long time ago. Oh, like, right, yeah. Those early days. And um, <laughs> But there's some good, there's bloody good songs on there. You guys have just played a festival, um, uh, Punk in the Park with Pennywise. Yeah. Um, you would have played some of the new stuff there. How was the response from the crowd? Great. Yeah, I think at that particular show we only did uh, uh, Make It All Right, but we've also done Light It Up uh, oh, yeah. live, and it just immediately went over. We did that at a couple of festivals in Europe this year, and immediately the, the audience goes off for both of those. Uh, Make It All Right makes you want to jump up and down, yeah. you know, and then the fans were singing along to it right away. It's, it's just catchy, it's quick, and it just makes you want to move. Um, that, that one felt really natural. Light It Up's just a little bit faster, a little bit more, yeah. and that's a little more punk rock. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's the stuff I, I still love, even, even at my age. That, that's good to hear, and, um, but the real reason you're here is you've got a show this weekend down in Melbourne at the Forum, just the one. That show sold out in 30 seconds. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah. yeah right. What was your response to when that happened? When... Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that was I my <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, It was just stoked to be coming down here, first yeah. of all. That's a great venue. I saw the Pixies there a couple years ago. Oh, wow. It's just a really cool venue. So I, I think it's going to be a blast. Most of what we're doing down here on this trip is this, you know, talking to, to journos and, and hanging out and, and just trying to promote stuff. Um, but so it was, it was nice to be able to at least play one show down here. And then we're coming back next year and doing a bunch more. That's what I want to talk about because when I heard about the Melbourne show and it getting sold out in 30 seconds, I was, I was pretty dirty that I'd miss out being here in Sydney. You've got this tour next year, it's four, four shows, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane. Um, and that's in May next year. Yeah, starting May 4th I believe in Adelaide, we start in Adelaide. I can't remember the, the, the exact order off hand, but you're not supposed to remember. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah there, there are people who get paid to be less confused than me. Right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, so, but we're doing uh, at least one show in Adelaide. I think two in two in Melbourne, one in Sydney, and then two in Brisbane. I believe. Oh wow! So I think that's I think that's the way it's set uh, up right now. I just so don't I know if all of those have been announced yet, but thanks for the Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're announcing four shows. I know we're doing Adelaide, Melbourne. Sydney and Brisbane. I'm not sure what order, and I'm not sure if, you know which songs. There might be multiple dates, in it, but stay tuned for that. I know, I know Adelaide would be grateful. They they often feel missed out. Um, people hit the um, East Coast a lot, so right. and tend to miss out on Adelaide. So that'll be cool. Um, I, I've got a few things. Like 
I, I grew up as a maths nerd. Like, I was a maths nerd in high school. I know, understand you're a bit of a smart bloke. Um, yeah, respectfully. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um, and, I, and, like, and, like, your name's Dexter. They gave you the name Dexter. Obviously, you think of the coin Dexter. Back then, if you're a Dexter, you, like, you were like a super nerd. These days, you call someone a Dexter, it's got a bit of a um, serial killer vibe. How oh, because of, yeah, of the TV show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you really, feel about the transition yeah, yeah. in the um, in the meaning of, of your own name? Uh, how dare they? Still? <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. As long as that beard. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. One thing about this Dexter, though, is he's a straight up killer. Yeah. 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 So it works. Yeah. Very smart. Straight up killer. Yeah. So um, you're you're a maths nerd. Let's talk numbers. So it's been 40 years since you guys started. 30 years since your breakout smash, 25 years since the film Idle Hands. Well, you know, <laughs> I like the timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Idle right? well, Hands doesn't get brought up enough in interviews. That's it was true. a really fun film we did. Um, Seth Green's in it. Yeah. Jason's, uh, no, no, uh, Devin Sawa. Um, oh, Jessica Alba. Yeah, yeah a lot of, lot of, yeah. It's just a fun cast. It's a fun, fun horror movie. A lot of tongue-in-cheek stuff. It's really fun. It still holds up. Yeah. Oh, it's a stone cold classic. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Uh, I, my favorite part, of course, is uh, when you have your scalp ripped off. Thank you. Yes. Um, that was my favorite part too. The best acting I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do they call that guy acting? Method acting? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he got deep. Yeah. 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 He, back. he was. He was in character for a whole week I, before. I yeah. about Man life. without scalp character. <laughs> what, what if someone killed my cat? <laughs> <laughs> Um, what was the makeup process like? I've got to ask, even though it was 24 yeah. hours ago. Well, like he said, it was really a fun experience. We were only there for like, it was like three days of the set of the yeah, shoot. Not, yeah. And this was supposed to be a high school dance, so they had the thing rented from like 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So yeah, this was um, a work in a high school, yeah. Yeah, yeah completely good at night. And so we drive up there at 10 o'clock or whatever and get started. But the whole process was weird. I mean, they put a skull cap on you. And then the wig goes over it, and then they have to put all the guts in between the skull cap and the wig. And it was crazy. Kind of gross, like, right? It was like raw eggs, I think, and they had uh, dyed it, gross. and uh, it was wild. So it was, it was, I think it was a three-hour process to get oh, yeah. it just right. So that added the pressure too. <laughs> <laughs> Action! Like you forget your line, like oh, send him back to the thing for another hour to get his hair. <laughs> so one and done. One take. I think so. yeah. I think I overdid it because I just didn't want to underdo it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're remaking that movie. Really? Yeah, they're remaking no, it. I've got really? the I've yeah. got the list. Jason Reitman. He's just done the last two Ghostbusters okay. movies. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Finn Wolfhard. He's a he's oh, a yeah. okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's a writer. He's, he's also he's the strangest kid. Uh, strangest yeah, yeah. things kid. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna. Well, this looks like it's the first time you've heard of it. But they haven't asked us. Yeah, they haven't asked us. I thought, I, thought, I, thought I, saw come back something, I think I saw something online about it, but I didn't. I was online, so I didn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but now that I'm hearing it in person, yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe it. Um, would you be I'll up still, for it? I'll still be um, yeah. Like you didn't die. You just you just got <laughs> there. <laughs> Maybe I got better. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I remember that stuff, that soundtrack being it, it was a. A little bit better than the movie, I think. So I just want to be the janitor there to clean up the, <laughs> the stuff off the scalp. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just come up with my mom. Oh, no. Here we go again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to ask you about that. Um, not specifically Janet being a janitor, but um, like in '94, Smash blew up. Smash blew up. Um, you put your studies aside and you um, handed in your notice to. Being a janitor, I think. I took a leave of absence. Yeah, I wasn't ready to quit outright because I didn't know, you know, bands come and go, yeah. you know, like Kleenex. So <laughs> you put your career on hold. I, yeah, <laughs> so I, I did. You know, I was I was going places as a janitor. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> I was climbing that ladder as fast as I could. Uh, so I took a three year leave of absence, and then I think we were on the X Day tour three years later, and. Uh, and I remember the exact day I go, well, if I go back to being a janitor now, I started that bottom rung. <laughs> so, you know, all in. Um, when you initially put your studies on hold, hand, handed in those, how long did you think that break would last? Or were you just hoping that it would be indefinite? Oh, we didn't know. Yeah, we didn't know. We figured we'd be able to, you know, make music, travel the world for a few years. But we didn't think we'd still be doing it. Yeah. You know, now, yeah. 
So what was the catalyst for restarting the studies? And because you've achieved so much, I know there are people who just, they're always striving for more. What was the catalyst for starting the studies again? Yeah, I mean, we had been at it, been on the road for 20 years or whatever. And it was always kind of nagging at me that I wanted to finish it. Yeah. Uh, just felt like something I needed to do. And, and after having toured, toured that long and felt like I was, we were established, and I'm like, you know, I, I, could, I could probably dedicate some part time work to it. It wasn't meant to be putting the band on hold. Actually, it wasn't. We didn't put the band on hold. Um, in terms of touring, we toured as much as we always did. Yeah. It did end up making uh, the recording process much longer. I wanted to go back and I'm glad I did it. Cool. Yeah, my dad's always, you know, instilled in me an appreciation of education. My dad didn't graduate college until he was 65. Oh, well, until he finally got his bachelor's <laughs> degree in bachelor in, uh, in architecture. And uh, I too would like to go back to school and finish my bachelor degree. I just have to go back to school and start my bachelor's degree. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of these days. <laughs> one of these days. Maybe by the time you're 65. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, never say never. Um, what was your response to you wanting to do the go back to study? Was it's fully supportive. Yeah, yeah. everybody did. It, it, you know, a definite worthwhile goal. Even though it doesn't, you know, doesn't really do anything. You know, for, oh, it doesn't make him a better songwriter. I don't think. No, no. <laughs> about molecular biology. You know, <laughs> the effect of microRNA on, on the HIV cells. But yeah, I, yeah, fully supportive. It, you know, any kind of education I think does enhance your life. Really okay. awesome. Look, I um, long before I was a tattoo artist, before I did any of this, I used to be an educator. I used to teach, go into high schools and prisons and all that sort, of, and teach about high risk behaviours pertaining to HIV and Hep C. So when I read about your dissertation, I thought I'd glance my eyes over it, and I noticed in the acknowledgements, and none of the band were mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that, and now I'm a little pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I feel snubbed. I feel snubbed. snubbed. I know. I put my wife and children, but I didn't. Know <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to forgive myself. Well, we didn't really like each other much at the time. Anyway, so we're, still, so we're in a much better place now. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also, I, I did. Uh, I stopped at the tail of the contents. I, after glancing my eyes at it, um, I could see through time. I. I thought I knew a little bit about HIV, but when I read just the table of contents, it was like the Matrix. Uh, I, I just couldn't couldn't understand it. But um, you got through the table of contents. <laughs> yeah. 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 Put, I, I read, read the tile and went. Yeah. Um, listen, there's a there's a question I, I always ask when I meet meet musicians, um, but I'm going to change it up. What I usually ask is, it's a scenario. We're on a planet. It's going to, we're on the planet, we're going to blow up, we're all going to get on a great big spaceship. You're only allowed one Black Sabbath album to oh. take with you, but given that I'm talking to the offspring, um, I'll change it to the remains. If you're only allowed to take oh, one okay. remains album with you, which one is it and why? Okay, well, both of those are kind of easy for me. The first Ramones album, yep. there's no bad songs. Yes, you got to say the first one. Yeah, yeah. Um, Black Sabbath would be paranoid. Have to be paranoid. Oh, right. To say too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get, such, page. I get such a mixed um, response on those. Some guy, I've had a couple of guys say Born Again with, with Ian Gillen. And, um, but yeah, mine's born. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah that's <laughs> yeah. me. When, I heard, when, I, when they answered, I went, are you yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change your answer. I think they're just trying to be uh, cool. Yeah, trying to be cool, yeah. trying to be. Mine's Master of Reality. Oh, well, uh, master. Yeah. And first ones. I, I looked over and went, I went, but any of those first four you can, to me, is, yeah. you can do the thing. So, um, look, uh, I'm just I'm just keen on this tour next year. I'm sorry that I won't be the one at Melbourne. Um, but it's been a genuine honour to meet you guys, and um, I might turn up a fan event tonight. If some guy comes charging at you with a tattoo machine, just jam at 30 no, I'm, I'm actually, yeah, yeah. in the meantime, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you both if you could draw a 31 on 31. my wrist, and I'm going to go and take it. Um, to oh, work nice. and get the guys to do it. And That's a good idea, I like that. Oh man, I, I wish I bought my tattoo machine. And, and I'll, get, I'll get you to do one as well, man. That way I can say another one? one? Yeah, man, 231. Oh, he's, he's got it right here. I need it. I can only stick fingers. That's alright. 
You could do an artist, eh? That is neat as a pin. Look at that. <laughs> 31, 31. Two 31s. Yeah. Man, uh, a genuine, genuine honour to meet you both. Um, mate, I've, uh, I'm looking forward to the tour next year and um, all the best this weekend. I'll probably see you at the fan event tonight too. And if so. I change yeah, my mind on this, I might just come and get you to. Right, yeah, if you bring your gun, I might have you get me. I'm going. So. Great to meet you guys. Thanks, Ray. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man.